I'm curious what you can say about the tone that you had to kind of strike and the balance in that wedding birth sequence. What was the biggest challenge you can say of kind of crafting that that ten page scene? Uh, when I when was I it, said, it was only was it only ten? That's what they said earlier. No <laughs> wonder I trust you. <laughs> it was at one point it was like fourteen, and uh, <laughs> and when they we started asking for cuts in the script because it was you know when it gets long and they're like are you really going to try to do this birth scene? I go, this entire movie is surrounding this scene. <laughs> this is what I want to do. And it's just so complicated. Like we've done, we've done a horse, we've done, you know, civil war battles and we've done all this far and the musical less complicated than that scene. <laughs> just because so much was happening simultaneously and we could only see certain things and, um, and just the amount of visual effects we're allowed to have to burn in the screen. We had to, we had to only see certain directions. Um, but for me, it's like, I, I, I said, you know, I want to take it as far as we can and take us to the edge and try not to tip over uh, the side. And, um, and the guys were up for it. And, um, and, you know, James, James takes his breakdown at the end of that sequence to such extreme crazy lengths like <laughs> Chris and I were sitting behind the monitor we're like um is this too much <laughs> and uh, and then and by the by the end I was like you know what no and I was pitching you know to James new uh new ways to to make it crazier but it was all very um very plotted out to see just how crazy what can we find a new gear that we've never done before in the series and I think we might have <laughs> 